everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Keyblade Chronicles. Last time, we fought the Rock Blaze again to get the stuff that we needed to actually make the crystal we need to open up the portal into the Purgatory, which is what we did last time, and we started exploring that a little bit. And we found the next dungeon that we have to beat, but, uh, but we're still missing a piece. We, oops, wrong button. At this point, we've gotten the two of the parts of this rune that we need in order to uh, make the full fallen rune in order to summon the next boss. And the only piece we're missing right now is this one. No, not that one. That's the crafting one. That's the one that's craftable that we already made. This one, which apparently you have to get off of a certain, uh, they call the Purgatorium Wanderer, I think is what they're called. So, uh, th that's all we're missing for to do this. In between episodes, I went looking for information on where they spawned and how much it would realistically cost to get this piece. I couldn't find any information on any specific spawn locations, though. I did get the amount in which uh, the amount of coins it would cost to get this last part. And it's going to take a gold coin. We have no gold coins. And if I, I can just, like, go over to the currency trader real quick. And our currency trader friend, how much does a gold coin cost? 64 silvers. How many gold silver coins did we have? Seven. A nine, rather. We had seven and then a couple stacks of bronze that I turned over. So, obviously, we're a little strapped for cash for what we need. So, um... I started doing some grinding, and I'll actually show my grinding method. Because I'm up to 31 extra silver plus what's in there. Which is a lot compared to what we already had, but nowhere near enough. So, uh, uh let, let me open up. I think it's this bag? Yes, it's this bag. Yeah, hmm. Egyptian ritual knives and divider of heavens. And a whole bunch of the banners for the Egyptian martyr. <laughs> yeah. I've killed the Egyptian martyr 31 times, and I was doing it going through the entire cycle getting all of these. I did that like 15 times, I think, to fight it that way, then thought about it for a second and realized I can take these and go sell them and just get the item I need to summon him faster. So if we visit our, uh, where are you in this list? You're always so hard to find. Our friend who lives here who we can trade these banners to for cash, or for the specific coins. Like so. Then I just go in and just go, pop. Sadly, I can't like shift click to do them all at once. But when you do this, you get the last item you need to summon the boss itself, just without any of the extra mobs. So I, this is my second time going through this. And, and that's how I've been getting coins. And obviously, you just saw that backpack. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of rewards already. Thirty seven, thirty seven experience boosters, so just a plus thirty seven levels. A whole bunch of tea, milk, and honey, and a whole lot of stuff. Just a whole lot of stuff here. What concrete powder? I'm assuming that means that there's something called cloud concrete then. Uh, yes, yes, there is. And I'm assuming you probably have, like, the same thing going on as what regular concrete has, so that you would move a little bit faster on it. It's just this uh, yellow coloring. Okay, interesting. I might make some of that just to see what it looks like and how it works specifically. But that's for another moment. So, uh, yeah. I'll worry about that later. So, um... Where did you go, my, uh, Martyr's Pyramid? There you are. So, uh, this has turned out to be a very effective way of grinding out silver coins. Like, we can look at a whole list of who actually drops it. And it's a lot of bosses we haven't seen yet, but all of the bosses we have seen already... Except, except for the netherite piglin. You drop two, but they're pretty... 
I'm not going to say uncommon, but it's, you have to rely on reliably finding them. Where? Yeah, the Rock Blaze drops one, and that the Terrible Tree drops one, Vivid and the Kraken, plus uh, the Martyr all only drop one. So, uh, I think a village is about to make its way in here. Probably don't want... Oh, you're just on the other side of the wall. Don't come in here. That would be a bad idea. So, um... This... Is my most reliable way of just grinding out a whole bunch of cash. Because I beat the martyr in 12 hits, and he gets like one or two hits in back at me. On... Yeah. I don't have to worry about much in this fight. I did also get this adventurer... Banner version. Just has this nice black frame around what's already there. It looks kind of cool. I don't remember exactly why I got this. Like, recipe. It doesn't even tell me that you're an available drop. I just sort of just got that, and I don't know how. Maybe if you kill enough of a certain type of boss, you will, you will occasionally get the upgraded banner version, maybe? I don't know. Something to look out for to see if we can't get it for the upgraded version for more, more banners. But, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep at this until I have the gold coin we need, and then we're going to head back to Purgatory and see about finding the Wanderer. So, so I'll be back with you in just a couple minutes. Okay, I think I'm technically at what I need already. I've just got two more to do. And I kind of want to just show something off. I'm apparently strong enough... Where I can just spam click. Yeah. I don't, I don't even have to worry about timing my swings against him. I, I just click as fast as I can. Half the swing... This thing's swing speed is, like, incredible. Like, 2.6. Isn't a regular sword only, like, 1.5? Or something like that. I'm actually... Is it even 1.5? I want to say it's, like, 1.14. Like... Yeah, yeah, I'm literally twice the speed, twice as fast, and then some. Yeah, I don't I don't have to worry about timing my swings. Like, looking at it, that is almost instant. So if I spam click, half of my, half of my swings are doing almost full damage anyways. And, uh, yeah, the, pr the problem is actually iframes when I swing like that. That's what the, that's the only problem I run into. If it wasn't for iframes, the martyr would literally die in like milliseconds. So yeah, I'm a, I'm fairly strong. <laughs> but anyways, we're finally done with this. Now I was thinking about it. We have the Leviathan Blossom to go talk to the storyteller about. We got that last time. And we haven't actually tried out the energy drinks yet. Oops, wrong button. I'm up at over a stack now, so... <laughs> Yeah, we want to check those out. But anyways, let's go speak to the currency trader. Need to grab one more silver coin out. Hello, friend. Can I please get one gold coin, please? Thank you. Cash machine. I think that's the cash machine. So, but you're a little early. <laughs> get a gold coin. Oh, hold on. Where is that? No, well, Pretel, are you in this list? Get a starter kit. Get any rune. Gold coin. Okay, I thought that might have been like part of a line to like get the home currency converter, but no. So there we go. We've got that. Now, whenever we find the Purgatorium Wanderer, we can actually go ahead and test it out but uh i i want to try out the energy drinks because they haven't actually drink I, I haven't actually tried one of these yet it says every time you drink it your speed goes up by one and then there's an achievement to get a hundred speed so i'm gonna test this if this works how i think it is every time i drink one of these i should get a level of speed and just keep drinking it and be infinitely fast so Sonic. How long does this last? Two minutes. I'm at speed six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes higher than that. 
And each time we drink, oh, it stopped counting. Oh. Oh, I'm fast. Oh, this will make traveling a breeze. How, why have I never tried one of these before? Even like drinking like two of these would be like really good. I, I'm at, I'm at speed 11 right now, I think, or something like that. I don't remember. No, I'm, I'm only at speed 10. But like, the Martyr's Pyramid is 3,000 blocks away. I think I could make it there. I traveled a th 100 blocks in like three seconds. Oh. we! I jumped like 40 blocks there. Okay. Why have I never used these before? That, that was insane. Even like walking is almost too fast. Hello there, Miguel. I have drinking a lot of energy drinks right now, and I am bouncing off the walls. What do you have to tell me about this uh, Leviathan Bloom? <laughs> or Levioth Leviathan Blossom, rather. For a long time in Purgatory, inhabited by creatures called Leviathans, they were imprisoned there because they devoured everything. When they died, such flowers with powerful divine power would grow on the spot where they died. Okay, but what can I do with it? I don't know, and I also didn't see anything in the guide about it. But we're definitely in the part of the guide where things aren't as well written out as they maybe could be. So it might be needed for one of the really late dimension portals, maybe? I don't know. I didn't see it anywhere. But okay, thank you for talking to me about it. With that, I think we're good to actually jump back into Purgatory and see about fighting this next boss. Uh, might as well just... Oh. You know what, I was... For a split second, I was expecting some sort of, like, crash after it was done. Like, I, I was just at speed 10, and then I just suddenly just stopped. So I was sort of expecting to just drop down to, like, speed... Uh, to, like, slowness 2 or something. Just so it was, like, trigger crash. But... Anyways... Uh, probably deal with inventory stuff. One second. I, I left the door open, and the wandering trader decided to move their llamas in. So, that's a thing. But I almost forgot to show off the mind-boggling power that is held within the Loki emblem. That's all it does. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a laugh with that. I got a laugh out of that one. I was like, hmm, I didn't try out what the Loki emblem does. Maybe it has some really cool hidden ability that's not listed there. And then I tried it and it's just a little. <laughs> I guess it would be useful if you were playing like hide and seek with a group of friends and someone yelled out to like Marco or something and everyone else and everyone had one of those and had to do that. I, I guess it would have it, its use then. But, but anyways, let's sleep. <laughs> you can really, you can really just see how, how many times I, I fought the martyr there, can't you? I don't, I don't think I need a music bit, uh, music disc. But so, and anyways, uh, let's head back into purgatory, shall we? Now that I've emptied out inventories. Yes, I have emptied out inventories for a split second. I was like, did I really, though? <laughs> yes, I did. I did not forget this time. Uh, I also need to work on actually getting to tier A so I can open up the rest of, rest of these recipes. Actually, let's just take a quick look at the Moogle, shall we? Deposit all I have, synthesize. I have a couple of keyblades I could I could make real quick. What about accessories that would be more useful right now? For, that's a lot of AP, but I need mithril crystals. Hungry stones, hungry stones, soothing shards. Hungry stone, hungry stone. Well, spring and mithril. What do I currently have on? I don't remember. I have a full bloom plus is the one I made. Let's see. Bulbum plus Aquamarine Ring and Lucky Ring. 
What about, uh, can I make mithril and stuff? I can. How much can I make, though? I could make two shards. Two crystals. And a stone. Yeah, I might as well. They're going to have uses. And it's actually some pretty decent uh, experience. Like, I'm already up to A. Oh, I... Apparently, one of the... Apparently, these two were mutually exclusive, so I could only make the one. But hey, deposit. Now you have some uh, mithril in here. Where's that umbrella? How close am I to making that umbrella? I just... Uh, it's very weird. It's very out of place, and I want to see what it does. I need eight more shards. Uh, that's a lot of betwixt stuff, actually. I've seen a lot of that. I just skipped out on it. That wouldn't actually take me too long. But anyways, now that we're up to tier A, we can actually open up some of these recipes. And we might as well. So, tier A recipe, sweet stack, knockout punch, and wheel of fate. I recognize wheel of fate. I think I recognize knockout punch. I don't know about sweet stack. Um... Oh, knockout starts with a K, duh. Why was I thinking NK? That doesn't even make sense. I feel like I've seen it before, but don't really recognize it. Oh, is it? It was Knockout Punch, Wheel of Fate, and Sweet Stack. I just wanted to look to see what these are. Sweet Stack. That's another one I think I've seen before, but don't recognize. And... Yeah, I recognize Wheel of Fate, though. So, what about our next one? Metal, Chocobo, Olympia, and Dive Wing. Oh, I recognize all of those. I like all of those keyblades. No Name, Birth by Sleep. Ooh. Mirage Splits and Midnight Roar. Mirage Splits? Do I recognize that one? I think I do. Oh, I definitely recognize that one now. Yeah. I, I didn't quite recognize it by name, but that's a pretty cool one. No name from Birth by Sleep. And what was the last one? I don't remember. Midnight Roar. It's right here. I've seen that one again. I I've seen that one before. And last one, Lost Memory to Become One in Abaddon Plasma? Lost Memory, I think I've seen before. I've seen a lot of these before, but don't recognize a lot of them by name. I don't I don't even need to look at two. I, I'll look at two becomes one. I do recognize it, though. That one's not familiar. M might as well just take a quick look at two becomes one. I know what it looks like, but might as well just show it off. Light and darkness. But would light and darkness be useful in here? Like, the thing with light and darkness is it makes it so you either go into final form, which I don't think I ever actually showed off, and I can't now because we're a nobody, and uh, anti-form, which anti-form's not really useful at all in here, and I already have final form, so I don't know if that's actually useful. I, I don't think I would actually need that. But anyways... Time to jump back into purgatory. I've been stalling for a little bit now. Ow, brand wolves. And time to look and hopefully find a wanderer. Forgot how dark this place is for a minute. At least the glow of your eyes provides some light. Ugh, I don't like this dimension. This is definitely the realm of darkness. I see you coming at me. Maybe. You're sort of just going up. Yeah, here you go. Come back to me. Gotcha. It might be worth upgrading our scythe, actually. We do have a whole bunch of hearts now. Do we, do we see anything that... What's that? What's smoking? Yeah, that, that looks like it might be a campfire or something. 
Uh, too, too many bad guys. Too many bad guys. Aha, it is a campfire. What's up with that? I just, I didn't see this last time. I didn't notice it. Ah, uh, too many bad guys. Oh, that's, that's what we're looking for. Go away. Go away. Ooh, thorn lightning. Interesting. Hello there. Oh, let me, let me in. He jumped out the back. Where are you, friend? Uh, I need torches. Give me torches, please. It's way too dark in this dimension. Thank you. Switch away from the scythe before putting torches down. You, he, they ran away again. There you are. Hello, friend. That's a creepy smile. <laughs> Hello there, Purgatory Wanderer. What do you have for sale? We've got what we're looking for for a gold coin, a cool looking bow, and a thing. I don't recognize what it is. I, I think I've seen it before, I just don't know what it's called. It may be called Purgatory's. Oh, it's here. Purgatory Cudgel. Okay, interesting. Not what we're here for, though. Giving, give you a gold coin. Art of Fallen Rune. There we go. And thank you very much. I'll mark this so we can always come back to you if we need you. Purgatory Wanderer. Good thing I just looked in this direction and saw the random smoke. I went the completely wrong way last time looking for it. Oh, that is, that is more or less unfindable on the map. It's, it's actually really good luck. So, what are these? Oh, those are the bone things. Okay, never mind. It looks like a cloud on the map, and I got very confused for a second. But, uh, now that we have that, provide some light for a second. Oh, it's a, I saw something move and got real scared for a second. It's just a moogle. Let's grab part one, part two, and three. And we got the fallen rune. Storyteller have something to tell about this thing. Let me jump back there and like see what they have to say before we could go use it, just so we can read all the lore bits. So one second. Hey Miguel, what you got to say about this thing? This symbol means purgatory. If you put it on the altar of the purgatory, we will call Nyatet the Fallen Titan. Okay, was hoping for a little bit more than that. But it's cool to know that what the actual symbol itself means, I guess. I was hoping for a bit more lore bits about like this uh about this Titan we're about to fight, but I guess we'll get that after beating them, considering we didn't get any of the explanation beforehand. So uh let's let's head back to Purgatory and we'll just like jump over to that uh to the thing we saw before. I'm getting stuck. I'm missing every jump and just mm, and just getting caught on every corner. Come through. I almost fell in the pit. Thank you. Ayatat is 216 blocks that way. There, there you are. Back to the dungeon. Oh, we missed this place's... We missed this dimension's, like, four minutes of daytime. But here we go again. Nyatet is the brother of Rockblaze. He was the commander-in-chief of a fairly large part of the Vulcanet army. He always had a, not a very good relationship with his brother, but when they were going to expel him, Nyatet stood up for his brother, for which he was deprived of his title. He left Vulcanek and went to Purgatorium where he wanted to start gathering an army to avenge Vulcanet. Thank you. So, when we reach the bottom of the staircase, we'll finally be facing down our next boss. After, after fighting, like, 33. 
I, no, after fighting like 50 some on, like 60 of the second boss and uh, the last boss again. Yeah, it, it took a lot of boss fighting to actually get be get to the next one, didn't it? But you can go in here. I guess you two can like leave now. And let's uh let's jump right into this fight, shall we? I'm gonna need I'm just gonna start going up to my higher end food in a second here. I'm almost out of my like low end stuff. I'll have to use like the salted items and the I guess I do still have apples. But uh Purgatory Altar. Let's go. Hello there. Oh you summon strays, how rude. Let me let me jump into creative mode for just a second so I can get a picture and I'll be right back. Getting my thumbnail resulted in a lot of extra strays, but well, we'll be fine. Strays are no I'm really I my scythe got stuck on the staircase and ended up getting deleted for a second. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, you have 630 health, which is slightly more than uh the la the rock t the rock blaze. Oh, I'm I'm actually taking a little bit of damage here. I'm down to a hard uh only a bar left. Oh, Thundaga, that was wrong. Kiraga, that's right. <laughs> How effective was that? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> oh, my scythe killed the next tray as soon as it spawned. Go away. I do not like you. Ha, I got you both. C come at me. Let's finish this. One last swing. There we go. Really? Gotcha. We're good. Next boss down. Ooh, that looks like a really cool banner. What do we got here? Whole bunch of the stray stuff that spawns because of epic fights. Glitch spear. Don't spend with 15%. That's... Whenever I hear glitch, I get a little bit worried. Why do I suddenly have that as a button? I don't remember doing that. But what did we get? We got some more energy drinks, more bloodstone, more agate. We got the next Purgatorium music disc. And the Purgatorium banner, which we saw for just a split second there on the ground. What other cool stuff can you spawn? Gray pants? Oh, apparently Eternal also has a version of the straight stuff. We, we just got the epic fight version, apparently. Maybe? Interesting, it has the same model. Maybe not. Maybe that's just a weird interaction between the two. Pick that back up. That was not meant to be thrown out of my inventory. Anyways. Uh, enough getting distracted over random stuff. What else did we get? Bonus arrows, regular arrows, some experience boosters, some light blue tea. We got a little bit of rum, another silver coin. Gray pants. More phantom fire. Can we make another one of those things now? Uh, another part. No, we're missing one phantom fire. But if we had one more, we could in there. We could just make another one and fight the fight our friend here again, Nyatet. What do we miss out on? As usual, a vibe emblem which allows you to teleport. Is that like setting a location and teleporting back? Or is that like jump teleporting, like Enderman style? I really want that. That would be really cool. But we missed out on a shotgun and the cave great blade. Interesting. What can we do? Do these have any special use? No. Let's just try. The first person throwing angle looks a little bit weird. The second person throwing angle where it looks a little bit weird because I'm throwing it the wrong way. <laughs> and, and then I sort of throw it like a... Then it's spun in the air, which is 
extra weirdness. But okay, a throwing weapon of some sorts. The banner, I'll put that in an important backpack. And the sunstone nuggets. Which I think I need for the... Oops, sorry. I think I need these for the next uh, portal to open. What skills can I do with you? Sake. Uh, sunstone spears. And uh, the black lightning emblem. Two projectile with one power, five damage, and one knockback. Adds immunity to slowness. Okay. And then that becomes the grand DC. Okay, interesting. So, a whole bunch of good stuff to have on hand. Let me just, like, recheck the guide real quick. Yeah, I, I need those, uh... I need those sunstone nuggets in order to make the next uh, crystal we need. Actually, we're going to need some more stuff for the next crystal that I need to work on. But the next uh, the next portal we need to fight we need to find and go through is in the end. So that's uh I guess it's time to go fight the ender the ender dragon then. I I do not have enough ender pearls though. That is kind of a problem. So, you can be made with nebulous heart, so just a rare drop from, uh... Yeah, just a rare drop from the Enderman. Affected by looting. I need to enchant poor Melissa. Uh, actually, can I upgrade to another... I have 4,600 hearts... Ah, oh, it's going to be way more than that before I get one of the no other cool designs. I don't really feel like upgrading. So the next cool design one is actually. At... Yeah, the next one's Quiet Belladonna, and I think I prefer that one's looks. Some of these I prefer the looks of the one we currently got. Some of these I don't. I do love Graceful Dahlia, though. This is like the canon one. Uh, sorry, I, I just like completely blanked on speaking there for a moment there. So I think we're done in purgatory for now. Let's actually head back home so that we can talk to uh, the uh, talk to Miguel about what's next for us. I guess Miguel, we beat my we beat Nyatat. What, what other... What's your next words of wisdom for us? I really need to start drinking more energy drinks. <laughs> after drinking, like... After getting up to speed 10, just running, running that distance regularly feels, like, so slow now. Next mission. After the comets fell, so did the Gardens of Eden. The war was a long time ago, and Gardens was already beginning to recover a little. But he became weak, and because of this, chaotic creatures that previously lived under the islands, and were considered a myth, began to come out and increasingly attack the inhabitants of Eden. The, ja the Jagax is Jagax? Jagax, I'll say, is one of the most powerful chaotic creatures, and it may be their leader, but I don't know for sure. You can summon him with the Jagax lamp, which is made from the Jin lamp, Fire fuel and soul bones. Soul bones can be brought bought from Sun Fury Messiah. Is that supposed to be Sun Fury? Or is it supposed to be furry? So the gin lamp is our next goal. I I've oh I've seen I saw this thing in the shop before. I believe you lied to me. Oh, it's made from this. Okay. I pressed the wrong button there. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool looking a lamp block. But uh yeah, Jigax's lamp. Okay, soul bones. How did, how did you say we got the soul bones? Oh, you bought them from the Sun Fury and Fire Fuel. Oh, it's fire oil. Ah, oh, how rude. I mean, technically, I could just buy one of these. I buy a couple of these from the uh, 
salesperson and just like unmake them. I guess I could do that. Do I have anything else that would be made with that? I don't think so. Okay. So we have our next goals for this. It didn't exactly tell us where we needed to go to. Or how it didn't tell us how to get to Gardens of Eden, but it did tell us the next dimension's name. So that's Jake Axe. Then after that, we're we're through, we're through the first half of the bosses, at least. Then there's all the additional ones. From what I can tell, the only one I think I could fight now is the Halloween Spirit. I don't remember exactly what item we need to do that. I guess we could, we have a little bit of time to kill. I guess we could do that now. I know I need ectoplasm for it. But uh, before we do, what can you tell me about uh, Nyatet now that we've beaten them? Uh, that first part is the same that was on the wall. To summon him, you'll need to collect three parts of the fallen rune. The first is, okay, yeah. N nothing important. I was hoping for a little bit more lore than what we already got, but never mind. So, uh, I, I, what? how do we fight the Halloween spirit? Because we have a little bit of time to kill. I know we need this ectoplasm. Yes, it's the Halloween spirit item. So we need ectoplasm, a jack-o'-lantern, a hyacinthum gold, and aerolite. Hyacinthum gold. I just need a gold block. That is not gold. This is gold. I need aerolite, which I have, and a jack-o'-lantern. Do I have pumpkins, or am I going to have to go... I do, haha. -ha. How do I make a jack-o'-lantern again? Like, you need to shear them? They change how this works, I think? I don't remember when this happened. Do I need shears or, like, break them with the sword or something? Shears, that's it. Okay. Carved pumpkin. Torch. Jack-o'-lantern. Now, let's just go put this gold on the, on the infected square, on the infected island I created. And we'll, and we'll face down one more little boss before this end, before this end of the episode. And then between episodes, I guess I'll work on gathering some ender pearls. then. Thank you. I'm really glad I didn't need a cobalt pickaxe for that because I wasn't even thinking. So give me this. What other uses do you have? Shovel. A quantum destabilizer. That's a thing. Spin sword adds plague on victim. Gold bricks, infectodious core. Interesting. Okay, it's just a full set of tools and then some other random stuff. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and make this item real quick. And instantly forget how to do so. What am I missing? Oh, like, like this instead. There we go. Halloween spirits. You can go in here, you can go in here, you'll be probably useful later on, and the ectoplasm can go away. So let me wait till night time, we'll come back, and we'll beat this last boss before we end things off. So, give me just one second. Okay, it's night time, so we're ready to fight this next boss. But quick, uh, quick sneak peeks, I was doing... Looking through things while I was waiting. And to make the next port, the next uh, crystal we need to get to the eating crystal. Well, we need the portal in the end first, obviously. But the crystal itself needs a silver block, which is apparently an ore specific to the end. The sunstone we got. A piece of dragon's breath, but I need to gather that for other reasons as well. So we'll make sure to bring bottles whenever we fight the ender dragon. And then this monster blindness, which we randomly got from a chest, I think, in the interdimensional dungeon that we fought through when we were in Purgatory. So it's a good thing I randomly picked that up so I didn't have to grow it. But, uh, 
Yeah, apparently we need to gather some things from the ends before we can go to the next dimension anyway, so that would be a little bit more work than we thought. But, uh, anyways, let's end things off with a bang, shall we, as we face down the Halloween spirits. Hello there, you're a big... 600... Those are some creepy laughs. Oh, you heal really fast. Oh, you also laugh a lot. I I needed to go blow for blow or else that guy was going to like wear me down and win. Baleful harvest. Kill Halloween spirits. What did we get for doing so? We got some more ectoplasm, some more pumpkins and carved pumpkins, coffee, rum, cobblestone toll, the banner, medium armor, gives him immunity to blindness. Interesting. What do you look like? Are you just like a, yeah, you're just a pretty regular helmet. Well, immunity to blindness is still pretty cool. More energy drinks, which apparently are really, really good. And the banner, which I think is the part I'm most excited about, because it looks like it might be a pretty cool looking one. Oh, I like that one, actually, quite a bit. Oh, yeah, the purgatory one. Forgot about that. There we go. I'm going to need a banner room. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to need a full room just for banners from this mod. This mod has like 20 some on bosses, I think. There's... The one, there are two, three in the overworld, one in comets, one in purgatory. Uh, the end, ha the nether has its one specific one. End has its own. And then all the other dimensions have one. And then all of the extra ones as well each have their own banners. Like, how many banners am I going to need room for? A lot. Oh. They all have regular forms, adventurer forms, and hero forms. Interesting. I could cheat and just use the Totem of Eternal Darkness to get as many as I want. But that's not going to happen. We're earning these fair and square. Okay. Let's not look too far ahead into all of those. We want to save some mystery. But, uh, looking at the time, this is probably a pretty good place to end things off as I deal with, like, inventory management. Go down here, you where you belong. I have way too much basalt. But, anyways, after beating two bosses a day, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.